sales return order and the sales credit memo. What are those two documents and how are they placed on the board and what is their relationship with the other document? So if uh, we are sending something out uh, to the customer, we have already posted it, uh, but we want to take it back into our system. The correct way of doing that is using one of those two documents, not deleting this document. Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to continue our exploration of the sales document flow. And we are going to talk about two important documents that we didn't cover in the past video. By the way, if you haven't seen that last video, I would highly recommend to watch that before you watch this one. I'll put uh, a link uh, right here. So you can go ahead and check that one out because we are going to assume that you already know what you see plotted on this board. Today, we are going to continue that discussion and we are going to talk about the sales return order and the sales credit memo. What are those two documents and how are they placed on the board and what is their relationship with the other documents that we have already talked about? If you remember in the last video, we mentioned that once a document has been posted, it can no longer be modified unless we use other documents to revert the changes that, that that posting that document has made to the system and to the GL entries that are underlying the whole ERP system. Those documents are specifically the sales return order and the sales credit memo. So let's go ahead and add them here on the board. As you can see, I placed them on the open side of the board. Let's see uh, how this goes and affects the posted part of our board. So let's imagine uh, the scenario of the return order. Just like we did in the sales order, we have the opportunity to decide if we want to handle the shipment and the invoicing, or in this case, the, the credit memo separately or at the same time. But we are differentiating uh, the aspect of the receiving part from the part of the credit posting. So let's go ahead and plot that just like we did before. Now, on the credit memo side, uh, we have the same opportunity. Uh, however, because we are issuing immediately a credit memo, we are assuming that those goods have been received at the moment of the posting. So we can create our open document, the credit memo, uh, wait, and once we post the document, we assume that we're issuing the credit immediately and that we have also received those goods in our warehouse, in our location, wherever that might be. So let's go ahead and plot that. If you're enjoying this video and you're finding it helpful, please consider clicking that like button. It helps us a lot to, first of all, understand if you like the video, but also if you're finding it helpful and it is helpful to spread it to more people. So thank you so much for considering doing that. So you can clearly see now that there is a parallel between this part and this part uh, as far as action goes. So you could say that uh, the equivalent of the order is the return order when we are receiving something from the customer uh, back. And for the invoice, the equivalent is the credit memo. Nothing strange so far. On the posted side, we have the posted shipment when we are sending something out. When we are receiving back something, we have the posted return receipt. And the posted invoice is when we have, you know, uh, sent out an invoice that have been registered in the system. Same thing if we are accepting, uh, giving the customer credit for some goods that he no longer wants, we are posting a sales credit memo. So if uh, we are sending something out uh, to the customer, we have already posted it, uh, but we want to take it back into our system. The correct way of doing that is using one of those two documents, not deleting this document because that it cannot longer be deleted. It has affected the system. So we need to produce either a return order or a credit memo in order to produce a posted return receipt that will then allow us to bring back those item into our inventory. Same thing for the financial side. Once we have posted an invoice, so the numbers have affected the GL entries inside of our system, the only way to revert those changes would be using a 
posted sales credit memo. Uh, and the way to produce one of those, it's going through a return order with the two steps or using a credit memo in one step that then produces automatically a posted sales credit memo. Okay, well, now that we have clarified the relationship, you might wonder, do we need to manually make those documents uh, when something goes wrong? Well, there is obviously that option, but there are also functionalities that have been built in Business Central that allow you to, from a posted shipment uh, or a posted invoice, to produce a return order and a credit memo. So you can move from this area back over here uh, based on a previous document that has been posted. And that's also another reason why it's important to always have those documents and not delete them. From here, you can automatically create one of those two documents and then using the posting action, move over here so that those changes will also be reflected within the GL entries and the underlying systems of Business Central. There is, however, uh, something that is uh, that we haven't talked about yet that is very important to mention that we will obviously, of course, also would like to get into. And that is specifically that each one of those uh, documents uh, can generate printed documents. Those printed documents have specific names and they are usually associated with what in Business Central is called a report. Those reports are have different functions and are generated for different reasons. However, if you have an understanding of the, of the underlying structure of the documents, the open and post the document, adding those on top is not going to be difficult. So keep an eye out and meet us in the next video in which we're going to dive deeper into some of the other aspects of the sales flow. Thank you so much for watching.